I told you a couple weeks ago that a self driving car was going on a cross country trip, the first ever. The trip has been completed by GM spin off Delphi Automotive. They completed a 3,500 mile journey across the US from San Francisco to New York. A lot of the things we've been talking about, Lewis, that were the limits of self driving cars were tested during this trip. This included the longest automated drive ever. This included instantaneous need to make quick decisions, stopping and then proceeding at a four way stop, timing highway merges, calculating safe maneuvers around bicyclists, and even a variety of weather conditions, although not blizzard like uh, sleet and ice on a hill while pedestrians are shoveling their cars. So that specific scenario was still not tested. Uh, but we're showing video of this here and you will see that the car is indeed driving itself. There was an operator in the vehicle could have taken over control at any time. People scared people angry about this. Why do you think Lewis? I get so many emails from people who get mad at me that I think self driving cars are ever going to be a real thing. It seems obvious that they're going to be a real thing. The question is how soon? I guess these are just people who love their cars. I don't know what else to say about that. I'm, I'm glad this was a success. You know what I'm thinking now? I'm thinking that there could be a lot of uh, a lot of accidents and many problems with drivers who are so distracted that the car next to them has nobody in it that uh, <laughs> that, that something goes wrong. No one in the driver's seat, you mean? Yeah, right. And uh, and I think that could be a problem. But anyway, yeah, th this is the future, and um, this is a great experiment. Think for a second. If you have 100 auto drive cars on the road for one year. That would be 100 years of driving experience, which is more than any human on Earth currently has. One million auto drive cars on the road for one year would collect so much information about safe driving and accident reduction that it would ex almost exceed the entire collection of driving intelligence across all human drivers combined. People need to think about the value of that data. Well, yes, but I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't equate every bit of data to, a, you know, say it's equal to the amount of time that those cars are on the road because these aren't learning machines, at least not yet. All we do is harness the data and try to figure out how to make things better. Uh, but you still you're right. Uh, the more driving going on, the more data we have and the better things we'll get.